guy is Ben Watsonabi of Ness and Fuel. Uh, so one of the simplest questions about a car is, you know, how's your internal combustion engine work? I'm here with Harry Sanders, the owner of MCSalvage.com. Uh, formerly a long time uh, of, of people's motorcycle here in Newton. Uh, he's the author of the Motorcycle Safety Inspection Program uh, from Massachusetts. Uh, so he's going to run us through really how this internal combustion engine works, one that is in fuller shape than the one behind us and one that's in your vehicle. This is a basic component engine, uh, internal combustion. What it does is it converts reciprocating motion of the piston to a rotary motion at the crankshaft. Now up in the top here we have the intake valve, and as the piston is drawing down, it creates suction. Then the valve closes, and the sealed combustion chamber compresses in the charge. Then it, it gets the explosion, <laughs> forces the piston down, and on the fourth stroke, comes up and exhausts <laughs> the burnt gases out the exhaust. So then it keeps repeating it. Intake, <laughs> compressing, <laughs> and then exhaust. <laughs> and it keeps repeating that. Intake, compression, power, exhaust. So you take this single cylinder of a four stroke and you can apply it over here. This is a six cylinder. This is one piston here, one piston here, one piston here. And underneath the cylinder head, which is this unit here, are three more pistons. And you have your intake valve, exhaust valve for each cylinder, intake, exhaust, and you, that's controlled here by the rockers and the push rods. It's timed by a cam. Camshafts take rotary motion and convert it into reciprocating motion. Crankshaft delivers a reciprocating motion and converts it into a rotary motion to dis distribute your power. The crankshaft, and this is the camshaft. So as the crankshaft spins, a gear drives a cam gear, and on the top of each center lobe, is a higher lobe which ex extends out the push rods to open and close the, the valves. Through the pistons and the force of the four strokes, each uh, crankshaft uh, area for the piston where the connecting rod comes down to convey takes that exploding gases of reciprocating motion and spins it into a rotary motion. Once again, the difference is between a crankshaft, which is taking the reciprocating motion and spinning it into a rotary motion. That rotary motion is transferred now into the camshaft, which now takes the rotary motion and puts it up to a reciprocating motion with which to open and close the valve train. All right, so that's a really basic explanation of how the internal combustion engine on your car works. It's kind of important to know the in general how it operates, so that when you're trying to maintain it, you know what to look for, how to be aware. Uh, for Harry Sanders, my name is Ben Watsonabe, Ness and Fuel, Drive State. Hi, if you like what you saw, you can click on any of these links or you can click below to subscribe.